Consider the function f of x equal 12 minus x squared on the closed interval 0 comma square root of 12. The curve y equal f of x is drawn on the figure below in blue. Yes, a point x comma y is on the curve. This is an arbitrary point on the curve. Write a function to compute the distance d from the point 0 comma 6 to the point x comma y as a function of x. What point x comma y on the curve is closest to the point 0 comma 6? We will find out. All right, so let's start as usual uh, by labeling some points. For example, this should be 12 clearly, right? So 0, 2, and this one is square root of 12. You may say, why, Professor, this square root of 12? Well, square root of 12 square is 12. 12 taken away from 12, 0, right? It's just that x-intercept. All right, so now they want us to find a function d, which is going to be the distance between this base point and this arbitrary point, right? So now, using our distance formula, then, that should be equal to difference of first coordinates x minus zero square plus difference of second coordinates y minus six square. Great. Now, simplifying, so hard to see that this becomes x square plus y minus six square. Great. Now they want this function to be written only in terms of x. Not a problem because we have y y is equal to 12 minus x squared, right? But y in terms of x. So let's just substitute for y, 12 minus x squared, and the rest stays the same. So this is this, d equal square root of x squared plus 12 minus six is just the six, minus x square and all this is square. Done. D is written out as a function only in terms of x. Now for the second part, they want you to figure out the values of x and y such that this distance is minimized. It's minimized, right? They talk about the closest point on the curve to this base point. Okay, so this is then um, optimization problem where the goal where the goal is to minimize minimize the function d the distance function d right but notice that this is equivalent to minimize this polynomial function right so I'm gonna write here which is equivalent to minimize is this x squared plus six minus x squared squared, right? And you may say, why professor, is that true? Well, the square root of the function is such a nice function. It is strictly increasing, right? So it basically will preserve the order, right? The maximality, the minimality will be preserved. So don't worry about this square root function. Just work with this for simplicity. Now, if you would like to include the square root, you could. Yeah, using the chain rule still, you can take the derivative, say equal to zero, you will be fine. But I'm just taking a little shortcut here. All right. To minimize this, I have to take the derivative of this function respect to x and set it equal to zero, right? And solve for x, solve for x. The derivative of x squared is just 2x. The derivative of this guy using the chain rule is gonna be twice six minus x squared times the derivative of the inside function, which is gonna be just negative 2x, right? All that equal to zero. Now solve this anyway, you want, right? I'm gonna use just factorization here. So 
2xx times what? This is going to be 1 minus 12 plus 2x squared, right? Just algebra. 2x, 2x squared minus 11 equals 0. From this part, 2x equals 0 will lead to x equals 0. One candidate for our solution, 2x squared minus 11 equals 0. When you solve for x, will lead to x equal square root of 11 over 2, which is approximately equal to 2.345. I'm taking three decimal places for accuracy, OK? All right, now, these are the two candidates, right? So how am I going to know which one is the one that will lead to the minimum distance between these two points? Well, let's evaluate each of these guys, 0 and 2.345, right? Into our distance function, what we got here. For zero, clearly this is zero, 36, zero, square root of 36, six, six, right? Which you can also see here on the graph. Well, for x equal 3.45 though, you have to do some computation here. And, but the result of the evaluation should be just this, 2.398. Comparing these two, clearly this is the minimum value, right? Which means that then as a conclusion, when x is equal to 2.345 and y equal to, notice if I have x, I can have y, right? For x equal two, three, four, five, y will be equal to this. Twelve minus. I just gotta substitute the value of x. Let me do it in exact form. Square, right? So twelve minus eleven over two. Twenty-four minus eleven, thirteen over two. This six point five, right? Six point five. Very good. Six point five. There you go. So conclusion, when x is equal to 2.345 and y is equal to 6.5, this distance will be minimized, right? Okay, I hope this video will help you. If you like it, uh, please subscribe, share it with your friends. More videos coming up. Thank you.